Hi, my name's Alan, and welcome to another episode of Affinity TV, where we give you bite-sized chunks to keep your learning simple. Today, we're going to take a quick look at using Apple's Photos and how that works with Affinity Photo. Now, this is almost like a part two, where last week we looked at creating a one to five star rating system using some of the built-in features of your Mac. Now, when Apple replaced iPhoto with Photos, we lost the ability to be able to edit in an external editor, something like Affinity Photo. Well, someone's come up with a creative solution. Now, over on the Mac App Store, there's an extension called External Editors for Photos and it's like 79 pence and some links here to their website where they run through the extension and just show you some of the features that's available. So I have mine installed and I'm inside of Apple Photos. So I'm just gonna open up one of my images and I'm gonna come up and edit and then down to the extensions and I'm gonna choose the external editors. So in my case, I wanna choose Affinity Photo. So I'm just gonna click and there we go, Affinity opens up that image. So if I come in now and I make a few edits, for example, let me just choose the input and brush tool and let's just say I wanted to remove this stud from her ear. I don't, but I just wanna show you how this works. Let me just get rid of this. Let's say I went over to the develop persona and I pulled down the saturation and let's just say I increase the black point hit develop, come up to the file menu and press save. If I now go back to Apple Photos, you can see it's automatically saved and updated um, those adjustments I made. So let's go back to Affinity Photo and let's just quit this. And back inside the photo, let's save those changes. So it's automatically saved those changes for me. And let's go done. Now the great thing is, if at some point I wanted to come back in there and realize actually I didn't want to make those changes, I can always go back into edit and have the option here to revert back to original. So not only has it brought back the color to my picture, it's also brought back the stud which I erased inside of Affinity Photo. So let's click done. And let's just go back. Now, another feature of photos is smart albums. So if I right click on one of these images and go to get info, it shows me some information about the camera, the resolution, the size, um, the shutter speed, etc. I can also come in here and add a description about the image, add some keywords, and tag a, a location. So if I select a few of these, and right click, go to get info, I can assign a keyword, and press enter. So in this case, I've added two keywords to these pictures. So now if I come up to the file menu in, in Photos and choose New Smart Album, I can give the Smart Album a name. And then I can come down and choose the option here. So I can say Keyword is, and I can choose an OK. So it's automatically found a match five items. So once I click OK, it then creates a Smart Album for me over on the left-hand side. And what's great about this is anytime I import any new pictures and assign the same keyword, this smart folder will automatically be updated for me. So if I go back to all my photos again, and let's just say I select a few more, and right click and go get info. This time where I choose to add a keyword, I can use the shortcut which I created in my last video. So I'm gonna hit the five key and then shift, Let's press eight to have this five star text replacement there. And if you don't understand how that works, you know, do take a look at our last episode where I'll show you how to create that. And let's just press enter. So now if I come up to the file menu again and choose new smart album, I can say this is a five star. And again, choose keyword. And say the keyword is five star. It's found three items, click on okay. And now I've got my five star smart album inside of Apple Photos. So again, I can create a five star, I can create a four star, three star. And what's great about these smart albums is, 
but go back into here is I can choose the aperture, the camera model, so I can say the camera model is, and then choose, you know, my Panasonic, um, I can choose the iPhone 6, and the great thing is it then automatically knows and finds and matches up that information that's chosen here, so I can create smart albums based on any of this information, so the description, any keywords or any text I have um, associated with those images. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, this is of course only a temporary solution until the team at Affinity bring out a digital assets management solution that works directly within Affinity Photo. So in the meantime, do take a look at the last video, have a, you know, have a look at some of the features built inside of Apple's Photos because it's a great way to organize and store your pictures. And the great thing is now with that new extension, you can store and organize your pictures inside of Apple Photos edit directly inside of Affinity Photo and those edits and those changes are saved directly back for you inside of Photos. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon on another episode of Affinity TV.